Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're looking at the map higher order function. So the map works similar to that of for each. So it enables us to look through an array to perform operations to a particular object. So over here we have uh, an array of persons. Each person has a, a name and then an age. So we can look through this like that. So we have persons.map and then we pass a function which will take person as an argument. So we are destructuring, or let me say, yeah, we are destructuring the array indirectly to just take just one person at a time. So we have this arrow function that has person and then that person references each of these JSON objects over here. Each of these JSON objects over here. So over here, we want to print out the name and then the age of the person. So when we write our function as simple as this, and then we hit enter, it shows us units is 25, 25 old. I think we need to modify that. So we can do it like this: 25 years old. So there we have it. Um, Eunice is 25 years old, Kami is 30 years old, Lois is 22 years old. So um, the application of for sorry, the application of map isn't limited to this particular example. There are tons of applications that are tons of ways that you could apply this particular map function to the benefit or to your advantage. So this is just to show you uh, how it works so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell and also leave us a comment thanks for watching see you next time